For one Paxton family, entertaining sellout crowds of 80,000 people is a weekend occurrence. Tom Mintz, along with sons Jared and Colton Eichelberger, are drivers of the Monster Jam World Tour's Maximum Destruction. And that's their goal every time they go out for a show. They see Max D. Max D means one thing, Maximum Destruction. They know what we're going to do as soon as we come out. Doing great big stunts. That's what I live for. Double backflips, the first single backflip, front flips. Anything I can do that nobody else has ever done, that's what gets me motivated. Making a name for the truck has been a long time coming. Tom Menz first started driving on the Monster Jam World Tour in 1993. Throughout the early years, the boys Colton and Jared watched Dad from the sidelines. You know, growing up, we always went to the show as kids, and watching Dad, you know, there's always that not feeling in your stomach hoping he would win every time. And win is what Tom did. In his 25-year career in the business, Mintz has won the Monster Jam World Finals a record 11 times. Now both of his sons are getting the chance to chase that same greatness. I wanted my family to be able to join me. You know, and the boys, they worked hard on them. They always wanted to drive Max D. For them to get the opportunity to join me was a vision. It was a long time dream. It took a lot of hard work. They were able to take their dream as well and ride it all the way to the top. That's where I felt the most comfortable. Driver's seat of Max D, my father's shoes, family business, and I love being in front of the fans. The Monster Jam fans are what it's about. That's why we do this. Entertaining crowds of 80,000 every weekend, all while coming home to a town of less than 6,000 people. But for them, they wouldn't have it any other way. Getting able to live out my dreams but still living in Paxton, Illinois, seeing the entire world, driving Max D all over the world, it is really special to me. You can catch some of the action when Mintz makes a stop in Indianapolis on February 10th. Reporting in Paxton, Jordan Anderson, WCIA 3 Sports.